<laughs> Hi, Shelly. <laughs> Thanks for joining me tonight. Oh my gosh. I think this is, tomorrow will be the longest stretch that I've ever meditated every day. <clears throat> and I noticed that at night, my brain, by the time I hit the pillow, is already quiet. It's been pretty cool. So I would love to hear, hi Sherry, Denise, Shannon. <clears throat> I would love to hear everyone's experience so far with, with the meditation challenge. And if you don't want to <clears throat> get up and mess with your phone right now, you can just put it in the comment of the video from today. Send me a message. But what have you been getting out of this? I know <clears throat> several of you... <clears throat> um, Sorry, I always eat dinner right before we get on. And the last couple nights I've had jalapenos and I'm just like wrecked. I'm like in an abusive relationship with jalapenos right now. They just wreck me, but I love them. I keep going back even though they hurt me. It's It's been really awful. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I've just been sleeping better and I feel like when my head hits the pillow, I'm actually calmed down versus... I lay down for 30 minutes, my mind goes, and I pick up my phone, and I write some notes on my phone, and then my mind goes, and then finally I fall asleep. So, um, one thing that I think is common for when we hear meditation, depending on our spiritual or faith beliefs backgrounds, is um, we can feel like it's not a practice that would be supportive or conducive to our spiritual beliefs. And so I'm going to read this little excerpt. Um, from a book and it's titled Pray, Meditate, or Both. And depending on the day, sometimes I notice that my meditation practice <clears throat> is my prayer and then <coughs> my prayer is my meditation practice. And I really love what the summary, the main reason I'm reading this is one to talk about how your meditation can be your prayer and it can be a time for prayer to come forth for you. However, you know, whatever your background is and whatever you believe. But one thing that's meditation has changed for me in my prayer life is it's focusing on what I do have and when I'm asking for something or when I feel like my heart's being called towards something, fixating on it like I already have it and what that would feel like and versus asking something outside of myself to grant me, grant me what I already feel like God is wanting to do with my heart, in my heart. So it's been really, meditation for me has strengthened my faith and strengthened my, my spiritual prayer life. So I hope it can serve you there as well. Meditation is a method of training the mind to remain calm despite the continuous flux of external conditions. Prayer is a way of expressing our deeper appreciation to God, Mother Nature, or the universe at large for the greatest gift of life. A true prayer is one of gratitude for the blessings in our lives. It is not a time to be greedy or to beg for more. We already have everything we need in order to be happy. So even saying, God, please give me strength, implies that we don't already have it when we actually do. Simply say, thank you for the strength, and you will be empowered to tap into its unlimited supply. So again, just touching on when we pray, giving gratitude or affirming what we want as if we have it. It's a really, really powerful energetic principle that we can experience in meditation. By being grateful for what we have, we generate energy towards more of the same. So don't focus on what you don't have because energy flows where attention goes, meaning that you would just wind up with more of what you don't want. Meditate to keep your mind firmly fixed in the right direction and it will raise your awareness of things to be grateful for <clears throat> in your prayers. See the beautiful relationship between the two practices? A common question is, what's the harm in praying for world peace? The problem lies in the idea that it's somebody else's responsibility to make peace happen. Peace begins with you. So if you want to know how close we are to world peace, look within. I love that. So today, getting into your space, <clears throat> tomorrow morning, <clears throat> at 8 a.m. will be our last final meditation for this challenge together. And then we'll talk about more work that <clears throat> we're going to do upcoming. But go ahead and get in your space. <sighs> Settle into your breath. I'm going to guide us a little bit less each time as we're becoming more advanced meditators. <clears throat> 
I'm going to start our timer. <laughs> and then taking your attention up, up towards heaven, up towards the universe, up towards light. And bringing down that prayer into your heart. <clears throat> You know, that thing that's been on your heart today. Maybe on your heart all week. And start by expressing gratitude. <clears throat> for this prayer being answered. <clears throat> Start by feeling in your body what it would be like, what it already feels like. For this prayer to be complete. <laughs> Noticing that this feeling is not apart from you. You can have it right now. <clears throat> the gem that's made up, it's not really real. I don't really have the prayer answered. It's what you might say. That's what your ego mind might be telling you. Have it answered according to your beliefs. So bringing down that prayer into your heart for the healing, for the resolution, for the good news, for the peace the provision. Allowing your body to feel the frequency of what it's like to have this prayer answered now. <clears throat> Noticing that just belief separates you. from this answered prayer in the now. Versus tomorrow or the next day. Bring your mind back in if it starts to wander, focus on how this prayer will be answered. Try not to plan, to analyze, to think. Resting in the gratitude and the abundant feeling of this answered prayer. by visualizing, by believing, by feeling this answered prayer. The subconscious sees this as our reality and goes forth along with the universal energy 
to make this our reality. Get another deep breath in. Exhale. Feel the weight, the responsibility. Release from your body. Feel the feeling of lack lift from your chest. Hold that prayer tight in your heart. Keep that feeling close. How it feels to have this prayer answered. Another deep breath in. And as you exhale, physically adjust your body to sink deeper into your practice. Let the mind continue to explore this new reality for the next few moments. Focusing on the breath. Letting your heart expand more and more to allow this feeling in of gratitude, abundance, and peace. Knowing that your prayer has been answered, your prayer has been heard. Bringing the mind back into gratitude, to peace, to love and abundance. Letting this energy build in your heart. 
Letting the mind settle into stillness, into calmness for the next several minutes. Start to fidget, you get frustrated with the monkey mind. Bring your attention to the rings around your nose and the crease above your lip. Observing the breath go in and out. Observing the chest, rise and fall. Noticing the peace and the calm in your body.
Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. And a deep breath in. Exhale. And one more deep breath in. And exhale. Sigh it out. Bring your hands to your heart, filling up with gratitude. What was that thing on your heart, the thing that you're praying for? The person, the outcome, the feeling, the provision. Bring it in your heart. I have this. This is me. I am not separate from this prayer. What does it feel like to have this prayer? breath in, lift your arms up over your head, grab your right wrist, move down to the right side, grab your left wrist, side bend to your left, reaching up, maybe you stretch forward, come back to this space, come back to this place. Thanks for joining me tonight. Tonight was kind of tough for me, honestly. There was a lot going on in the house and then, I don't know, my body hurt, my mind didn't want to get quite as still and it's just how it is. And no meditation is ever wasted. If you felt like you only had five seconds of stillness, five minutes, five hours, your brain begins to reprogram, your cells regenerate. Watch your health change physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. And then let me know your experience. Comment on one of the videos from this week. Send me a message. And we'll be doing this again. I think we're going to plan some group energy healing and more meditation for when, when the meditation medicine challenge closes. So last meditation tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. I'll see you all here. And we'll reconvene then.